what the fuck can we make out of this whole uh, Babcock versus Barstool Sports debacle that I'm obsessed with? I love all of it. I mean, the there's so many way like so many directions we could go down here, but like the one major take who I didn't even have at first, but like after listening to Elliot Friedman and Jeff Merrick talk about it is like Friedman basically saying like the blue jackets somehow couldn't possibly have seen this coming with like the amount of uh, eyeballs and how under the magnifying glass, Mike Babcock is going to be the fact that they were at like, just not prepared for a major story to come out at some point is crazy to me. You already got carved just for hiring him. Already hang, on, got carved. hang on, Z. I don't think it's that they didn't expect this. I think it's that they didn't expect it before fucking training camp kicked off. Yeah, <laughs> like, he couldn't even make it. He couldn't even make it that far. Like he couldn't help himself. Unbelievable. And it's crazy too, because like obviously the first thing they do is like, oh, no, that's not how it happened, blah, 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 blah. But then they just, like, threw in details that actually weren't in, like, the statement originally. It was like, oh, okay, so now you're admitting to, like, the airplay part. And, like, it's like, okay, so it did happen. Uh, and, like, I mean, it's just fucking unbelievable. This motherfucker. And it's just so – hey, I want to get to know your family. Let me see that phone. Let's uh, let's scroll through that camera roll, baby. Like that's how I'm gonna get to know you and your family. Like not just yeah, like talking like, at all, but uh, be- best case scenario, he's like scoping out your family so that he can like go out and like take them hostage <laughs> if needed because you're not like doing what he wants out on the ice. Like I don't know. Don't get me wrong. Like if it's like actually in a consensual environment and like there's been conversation, it's like oh like can I see a picture from your wedding or something that you're talking about? Like right, sure, not. Show me some photos. So weird. And like, <laughs> I want to get to sucks. know you. Let me see your pictures. <laughs> right. And it sucks because like now, obviously, like Gaudreau came out and said what he said. And Boone Jenner, like, they're in, like, what are they going to say now? Like, what are they supposed to do? Like, they're just a shitty spot. So, like, it's just I don't fucking understand that guy. Like, he's such an asshole all the time in every opportunity to be an asshole he's like yeah no absolutely i will happily do that and it's just well, like it's such a weird power thing and anyone not anyone that legitimately thought oh he's gonna come back and have he, he'll have learned his lesson he's like done, first of all he's obviously he's done all of the fucking bullshit before so like he just but there's no way he was ever gonna change he's been giving He's been given two, three, four, five, six opportunities no matter what. He doesn't change. And he's like got out and said that he's basically just like the greatest coach of all time. And they're like, blah, blah, blah. He's he's untouchable and he knows it. And it's obviously it's fucking hockey. So these fucking dickheads get chance after chance after chance. And like there's dude, you just we're, we're looking dude, Bo, Bowman's up next. So is uh Quavo. I know. it's crazy. It's, they it's just like stupid. can't help themselves. That one In lag, yeah. This is uh, me off. That shouldn't even be a discussion topic, but I don't know, dude. It Let's just assume, okay? Let, let's just go to pretend land and say that <laughs> this was completely well intentioned, like nothing like off the beaten path with wanting to see pictures, right? He should at least have the self awareness to know, like, huh, yeah, people might, like, because it's me, be bothered by this. Maybe I should tread lightly. Like, he, it's not a matter of even changing or not. It's just like he can't get out of his own fucking way. I don't think he even cares though. Like he knows well, I don't nothing's either. gonna I, I, happen. Like I was in imagination land there. Right, right, right. right. But like <laughs> that's the thing. He just can he can do whatever he wants because he's clearly like it doesn't really do it. Like he was out of the league for a couple of years and that was that was it. Now he's back. I coached college hockey in Canada. <laughs> but, yeah, <laughs> which is cool. just brilliant. But I, the, my favorite part about all of this though is that now it's not even about like who's right and who's wrong. Now it's about the social justice warriors online. They are. Who, that's what I was going to bring up next. It's not even about Biz at this point, right? Like, sure, he's a little bit of a donkey, and I'm sure people want to, like, carve him for, like, trying to be the one that's breaking the news. But everyone is freaking out because it's Barstool Tide, and they are mad because it is Barstool. And watching people have to make the decision on who they hate more between so Babcock and Barstool – I love it. I need it. Oh, it's so great. 
that's what I was going to bring up too. Like now you have everyone being like, like this is the biggest pickle they've been in, in forever <laughs> where they're just like, Oh no. Like what, who, what do I, what do I do? But like usually, and I've said this on here before, like, I'm at the point now where I do not get entertained by people like going after like Barstool or whatever. Like just, I don't, I, the online, it really, it just annoys the shit out of me. So I just don't even bother. I, this is one instance where I'm like, this is very funny <laughs> watching so people different. have to like pick between <laughs> Babcock or spit and chiclet slash Barstool. And like, it's, that's the one, this is the one time I've ever been like, this is pretty funny. Like I, <laughs> usually this is very annoying, but like watching people have like this existential crisis over like having to like go after someone. And like, there have been a few people who somehow have managed to like attack both. <laughs> it's just like the mental gymnastics you had to do to get there is, is a plot. Like you deserve applause for it. So good for you. But um yeah mike babcock just going through phone we see those picks um never change he's never going to change and that's just what it is so go blue jackets go it's a gross representation uh yeah of insane. those meetings and extremely nuts. offensive he's fucking crazy dude um, but you know what whatever yeah he's he's something else but uh hey gave us something to talk about here so that's that's always appreciated 